validity in research is an important component every researcher should take into account while conducting the research it refers to how accurately a method which is employed in a particular research message measures what is intended to measure whether it is really measuring it properly if research has high validity that means it produces results that correspond to real properties characteristics and variations in the physical or social world that means it actually measures the what it what is intended to measure means the tool which is used is really valid and accepted one it it says that and the validity is the extent to which the scores from a measure represent the variable they are intended to do but how to researchers make this judgment we have already considered one factor that they take into account reliability that's what already i have posted a video on reliability if you check it it will because reliability and validity go hand in hand it it's it goes hand and glove when a measure has a good test retest reliability and internal consistency researchers should be more confident that the scores represent what they actually meant to represent see when you conduct when you use the particular questioner you conduct a test and you again retest and both scores come equally reliable score mean then you can be very confident that your tool is correct in case in that first it tested to you the tool gives 80% mean second time it gives only 40% mean mean the tool is completely not uh, reliable it is not valid but the first time it gives 80 second time it gives 70 or 90 means it's fine because more or less 10% plus or minus fine because the variable respondents may change their perception or they may learn better they could have get more skill that way it, it may happen in that way and in scientific research different types of validity are used to, to test whether the obtained results meet the actual aim of the scientific research or not the validity used in research is divided into two main categories very important one is inference validity that applies to the whole study second one is construct validity that applies to the measured variables in the study it further divided into different category look at the kinds of validity construct validity and inference validity construct validity further divided into a uh, major translation and criterion validity translation go to phase validity and content validity phase validity says about the subject you no know, whether the particular study is good and bad based on the subjective experience content validity whether the uh, added content in the particular tool is properly uh, added that checks that then in the, if you come to the criterion validity predictive predictive validity means whether the uh, questioner or the tool used is properly predict the required thing and concurrent uh, thing is whether the the particular result of this particular tool whether it concurrent with the previous research this validity you see somebody else already used to this tool in their research but you cannot have completely a new result it should go concurrent with that thing so it test that is that type of validity is called concurrent validity convergent validity means certain places uh, say for instance you conduct a test with the two type of stu students you take it uh, uh, above average and below average above average and below average should have what you call it cannot converge absolutely They both both will have a different score that's called discriminant score so whether it goes properly in case both score same thing it is not a correct validity too so similarly you have to understand so with all these two it uh, gives a kind of confidence to you that whatever you have devised it is valid then you can go ahead with your further research properly in case the validity is not appropriate then you have to revise and you have to rework with your tool okay i hope this is useful and let me catch you in the next video bye bye